Um, I just started the recording so that we could just not have to worry about it that, about that later. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, Jocelyn's going to lead us in some prayer again. We'll just, uh, you know, chit chat a little more until a few more folks join us. Um, yeah, raise, uh, raise your hand if you were here last week with our group. Um, yeah, I think we had I ended up missing. great kickoff. Jocelyn, we had how many people joined us last time? I think we had like 40 people. Oh, wow. We yeah. Just wow. <laughs> yeah. So this is only the second week? Yes, this is only the okay. second week. Yeah, so it's great. I know Barbara and Tom are joining us for the first time. I was in contact with them through email earlier this week. We're from uh -huh. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, around the Charlotte area, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. um, yeah. And Doug, from, we're from New York. Whereabouts in New York are you? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Warwick, Warwick, New York. It's uh, around 30 miles northwest of the George Washington Bridge. Okay. New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're from Long Island. Long time Long Island. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. lost your accent, Carolina. Huh? <laughs> lost your accent's not there anymore. Oh, I, I never had one. <laughs> I don't think either one of us ever did. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're what in New York. What part of the island? Um, I taught in um, Island Trees and we lived in East Rockaway. Very nice. Yeah, I So know you know the area. Sure do. Yeah, very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jocelyn, are all, everyone joining uh, from North America or the States or more than that? Um, I think last time we had a couple of people from Canada. Very and nice. then, um, oh my gosh, there was someone else, Father, who has been mm -hmm. to Parish Reps. I can't remember her name. Yeah, I think she's she was in Scotland. Um, although I think she was born in Africa. So mm -hmm. and then there was a sister from somewhere in South America. She can't join yeah. us today, but um yeah, I think those were it from out of out of the country. But that's great. Mm -hmm. That really mm -hmm. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um let's see, maybe in yeah, just just maybe, maybe till 301, then we'll jump in there. Um, but briefly, again, folks, thanks so much for being with us. We're happy to be doing this. Um, we'll be here again next Thursday and then even once more. So total of four Thursdays in a row in May um, in honor of Mother Mary. Uh, Jocelyn will lead us in some prayer and reflection. We'll have a few intentions also. Um, and even maybe a little bonus of a few resources we can share with you. Um, so you want to live as apostles of prayer in your own neighborhoods, parishes. We got your back. Yes. Oh. So where are their Jesuit missionaries? Jesuit missionaries, um, yeah, around the world. Um, what, what's the old uh, ad for Visa credit cards? We're everywhere you want to be. So uh, and we're, we're a few places you probably don't want to be, like, you know, war torn areas and so on. Um, so, and hey, the father, hey, father, they in Bora, are they in Bora Bora? <laughs> Bora Bora. I presume so. I'm not sure I can find that on a map, but probably got at least one guy there. <laughs> Do any uh, of you folks have uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus uh, Ministries? No, we do. We do in our parish. Mm, and cool. uh, we, we're beginning our third year. And we meet on first Fridays every month. We've got a group of very devoted, anywhere from 15 to 20. And uh, we did the, we've been through the uh, 12 promises. And now mm. we're doing Emily Jaminet's second book, Holy Habits from the Sacred Heart. And then after that, we're going to do the Beatitudes, a program on the Beatitudes. So we're growing, we're growing, but it's it's a slow go. It really is. So I would, nobody else has any uh, a, a ministry meeting. You know, hey Barbara, maybe we'll push pause on that for now, and maybe come back at the end sure. um, for yeah some of those practical yeah. things. But uh, let me kick yeah. it over to Jocelyn to get us started. Sounds good. Thank you, Father. 
Um, all right, welcome everyone. Uh, we're so happy that you're all here and that you're able to make it and join us for the next um, 15 or so minutes. Um, if you weren't here last week, just a little rundown of what the next 15 minutes will look like. Uh, we'll start with an opening prayer and then I'll read the gospel and then I have a couple of words of reflection on the gospel of the day and then kind of connecting that to Mother Mary and I can I'm gonna be at week. Uh, we're going over or touching on a different mystery of the rosary and today we're gonna touch on the visitation that's part of the joyful mysteries and um We'll also have a couple of minutes to open up the floor and just share prayer intentions, whether that's like by raising your hand or sharing out loud or uh, through the chat that we have. Um, I think that was very helpful last time because not everyone was able to share their prayer intentions, but we want to be able to pray with each other. And so, like I said earlier, I started recording the meeting so that we could post it on our YouTube so that you guys can watch it later and just hear the prayer intentions again uh, and just be able to continue to pray with each other in this beautiful community that we have through the Thursdays from the Heart. So if you guys would all join me, uh, we're going to start in a quick prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of this day. Thank you for everyone that you have brought here today. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to share with each other, both in uh, prayer, but also in reading your word together. Thank you for all the blessings that you have given us in our lives and everything that you desire to do through us to reach your children in whatever area of the world we live in. Uh, we pray that you may bless our meeting and that you may bless my words. Lord, we love you and uh, we just ask for your blessing. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, yeah. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Right. Doing both. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, going right straight into the gospel. Um, I'm going to read gospel, a reading from the gospel of John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us, A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father? So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so I know that there's the gospel that I just read, and then there's also um, USCCB also gives you the option of reading the gospel for the ascension. And I st stuck, stuck, oh my gosh, my words. I just decided to read the gospel for um, whatever week of Easter that we are currently in. Uh, and just specifically focus on the last couple of words where uh, Jesus reminds his disciples, like, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. And uh, I was just thinking about how during the visitation specifically, there was Mary who had just received, like, the biggest invitation of her life to say yes to life being born within her from her and from the gift of the Holy Spirit and how crazy that was probably for her to be there and to be like, wow, okay, yes, this is happening. Um, don't fully understand how or how this will come to be, but I trust. And I was reading something where it says like, Mary didn't have any like doubt of like, 
oh my gosh, is God actually able to like do this or whatnot? She trusted and she also went with haste to visit Elizabeth and to um, to see through her and that she was also expecting. And there was just this like specific act of trust and confidence that uh, Mary has that I think is like worth worth taking some time to look at, especially in our prayer and just see and like connect that to what the gospel was saying of like, she didn't know, like she yet didn't know that like her heart was going to be pierced with so much sorrow. And she didn't know that like, she was going to grieve the loss of her son and that uh, she was going to see him be beaten and crucified and how much pain that was going to bring to her heart like she didn't know that yet but she knew that like whatever came with this miracle that she was in the midst of that she could trust in God and uh, that she could believe and have confidence that like that this was real and my favorite I love the visitation and just seeing like just like imagining what this encounter would have been like with or what it was like between Mary and Elizabeth and just like the joy. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to like just bring up to hopefully uh, leave with you guys to pray with is just like picturing yourself there in that day where Mary got to Elizabeth's house and imagine just like that walk, that time that she took to get there and just like everything that was like bubbling within her. Um, the joy or the excitement or just like the pure like amazement of like oh my gosh I think Elizabeth is also expecting and um and to like imagine like them seeing each other and just like uh that encounter between the two and specifically like Elizabeth hearing Mary's greeting and just feeling the child within her womb just leap and how in that moment she was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she, and I just love being able to like picture that image of joy between the two. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that like painting where Elizabeth and Mary are like greeting each other. And I think one of them has their, I think Mary has her hands on Elizabeth's like pregnant belly and they're just like, their head is just like, both of their heads are just back with like laughter and just like joy. And I think that's one of my favorite images, just seeing <clears throat> the joy between the two in that moment. And, um, and I think that like the Lord invites us to live out of that, that was exchanged in the visitation, just that total trust and surrender and peace even in the midst of this whole unknown of like what was going to happen in the future or um and even in the midst of like not truly knowing like the sorrows that would be to come but being able to live in the present moment and to trust God in that present moment um I think is like really beautiful and something that I wanted to like share with you all today and to hopefully give to you as like something to continue to pray with uh, in the future. But yeah, any thoughts or um, questions, but also I wanted to just transition into like being able to uh, pray with each other and hear each other's prayer intentions and what you guys are carrying in your hearts as well. Um, so the floor is open to you to you all but also remember that we do have the chat so that you guys can share intentions on there as well uh Callan, i see you and jumping judith. in and judith I want to pray for people with mental illness. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Manchu? 
I would like to pray for um, more awareness of the situation that we are living in this world that is bringing so much distress, distress and suffering to the people, the poor people in the world about just uh, what we're taking just for choices that affected the climate. And then when they are just 42 degrees in Nepal, a lot of people suffering with the heat, other people with floods, other people with draft, other people with hunger. We don't realize that we have just a responsibility with the world and this is our choice every day. So I pray for um, more awareness in between us and for the people that they have suffered death of somebody in the family, a friend, or just they have lost everything. Lord, in your mercy, we pray. We pray. Thank you. Thank you, Manchu. Cora said um, she would like to pray for an end to child trafficking. And Mary Grace um, asks for prayers for her little niece who is two years and her sister in religion who is 50 years today. May the Lord grant them special grace for their lives. And then Teresa for Sister Karen who is in the process of dying and for her husband Jeff who has a chest cold for all people who are suffering, who are displaced and suffering through the humanitarian crisis throughout the world. Thank you, Teresa. I'd like to offer an intention. I'd like to uh, uh, us all to pray for all mothers throughout the world. We have Mother's Day coming up on Sunday, and uh, it's a very tough job. And uh, I, I pray that our Blessed Mother will uh, pray for all of them and lead them all to our Lord. I see Carly's intention, um, suffering from uh, anxiety due to a terminal diagnosis. So for her, um, also Linda, for her son-in-law, um, uh, who has pancreatic issue, uh, AO for the church and church leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe in a moment, Jocelyn can close us in a prayer. Um, after that, I'll send just a quick little uh, link into the chat for some resources you may want to share uh, with folks in your community. And then if you wish to stick around, folks, we're happy to chat a little further. Um, but we also promised a kind of short and sweet prayer experience. So Jocelyn, maybe I'll hand it back to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so like Father said, we are trying to just share a couple different small resources that we have um, every week. And this week there's uh, different, what do you call them? Like little little squares that you can share with your parish to put in their bulletin uh, that is related to like, just like it has the monthly prayer intention and then it has a little QR code for people to be able to visit our website. And um, it's just like a small little thing, but uh, it could go a long way, especially since everyone that goes to Mass on Sundays or on the weekends receives a parish bulletin. Um, so we'll share, Father Joe just shared um, the link to a Google Drive that uh, you can click and then save all the little images from there. And um, like I said, you can continue to add your prayer intentions to the chat or share them after we close in prayer. And uh, oh, Father sorry. is going to be offering a mass for all of the intentions. And as well as uh, we share, we as a team with our other two, the two guys that work here as well, um, are continuing to pray for all of these intentions that you guys share with us. And yeah, so let's close with the prayer and then you're free to go after that, or if you want to continue to stick around and chat a little bit more with us, we would be love to uh, spend some time with you all. So if you wouldn't mind joining me, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you so much for this time that we have been able to share with each other. 
Thank you for the gift of your word and for the ways in which it directs our hearts. Thank you for the invitation to remain close to your sacred heart and the invitation to be able to share that love that we experience there with all of those around you, around us. And we just pray that our Blessed Mother may continue to wrap us in her mantle of protection mm -hmm. and uh, continue to guide us to her son in the Eucharist and in the sacraments. We pray all of this in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. <laughs> um yeah any other oh yeah thank you father next thursday same time same zoom link at 3 p.m central time usa time so yeah hopefully you guys can all join us and any questions or any other thoughts or prayer intentions mm -hmm. jocelyn i just wanted to say how it was very beautiful both weeks thank you thank you judith Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Jocelyn, for, for pulling this all together for us. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks, Doug. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much because last week I wasn't able to join and you sent me the link. Yeah. Last week I was able to uh, see it and it was good. Thank you very much. Yeah. And for this, uh, for this gathering, it's good. Yeah. Yes. Good to see you, mm. sister. So is it uh, just in May or does it continue? Yeah, it will just be in May for now. And it was kind of just like a, a little test run to see how things would go. And if you guys liked getting together to pray. And then mm. the hope is to be able to do something similar, either like once a month or do another round of like back to back weeks in maybe in October. Um, yeah, so keep we'll keep you posted on that and let mm -hmm. you know thank you mm -hmm. thank you everyone nice to thank meet you. you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you very much thank you yeah you're welcome thank you all and uh, Bye -bye. blessings to our friends uh, on the east coast who are celebrating ascension today and uh as my yeah. jesuit brothers say you know jesus sticks around a little longer in middle america um <laughs> but you know, on the East Coast, people are in a hurry, like, you know, you got to get things done. So Jesus is <laughs> having fun with this, but different dioceses can pick when they wish to celebrate that feast. And uh, anyhow, yeah. cheers to all who are honoring uh, the risen Lord and his ascension today. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye, See you next week, too. Come on back again. All right. Thanks, Father. Thanks, Father. Thank Great you, to Father. See you. Yeah, Schneitz, thanks for all your holy work. Um, yeah, Emily Jaminet is a gem. We're friends. So uh, glad to hear you're <clears throat> being inspired by her, too. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Priscilla, great to see you. We're so grateful for your holy work uh, out west and even further west into Asia, right? Thank you. Um, next meeting is in uh, Thailand, so hopefully attend there. Oh Ooh. my gosh! You, <laughs> yeah, I should I should probably go to that too. I could meet some <laughs> some good people. Yes. yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye, Priscilla. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Ed, good to see you. Thank.